These are my top favorite handbag purchases so far for 2023. So if you're interested in finding out what those bags are, then stay tuned. Hello, welcome back, or if you're new here, thank you for joining me in the babe cave. Yes, this is what I call the babe cave because it's my purse room and where I film and so this is the babe cave in case you didn't know. And I did get the hand to work, but my husband had to nail it basically to the wall and then I put that sparkly little Timu bag <laughs> in the backs for eye candy uh, and the bag of the day is my Speedy 25 in the Damier Abine. Finally pulling out some Louis because it's time it's time for the Browns as I explained in my fall video. Uh, so this is uh, my in the Damier bean and then I added the orange horse for fall and slash it was Halloween too. <laughs> so the video today, my favorite handbag purchases so far from January till now which is November 1st. So there could be more you know. <laughs> but these are the ones that are my favorite purchases. And these are in no particular order. They're just bags that I know that I would have regretted if I wouldn't have bought them. And plus, they're bags that I've used multiple times. Which is saying something since I have so many bags. <laughs> so the first one I'm going to just pull random. Because I have Coach, I have Dooney, I have Louis Vuitton, and I have a, a dupe. So, we'll just start with the, the the bag that looks similar to another bag. This is, you know, the Gucci Soho Disco, and I believe it's like a the camellia color. It's a light pinkish tan. Basically what it's showing up in the... I'm using natural light. But yeah, this little zipper, I just tuck in the crossbody strap. And the that's the interior but yeah this is the zipper pull I love the tassel zipper pull it's so cute so this one even though it's not real I'll probably end up getting a real one of this bag because it is amazing <laughs> and I think they've redesigned the the camera bag with different G's or different shape I don't know but I love this bag so I gotta get a Gucci <laughs> The second favorite purchase was my husband's gift to me, which is my Louis Vuitton Tivoli P uh, PM. I love everything about it. One, because it was from him and he knew that I wanted a Louis Vuitton and I don't buy luxury that often and this bag it just hits all the all the things, uh, besides it being Vachetta, which I don't like to wear it when it rains and snows, but it doesn't snow that much here, so, and it's fall, so. I love this little charm that comes on these. And real quick, I, I have videos on all these, so I'll try to link some of them down below so you can rewatch them. But yeah, look how big this is interior wise that you could just get your things it's easily accessible the downside is that it's only top handle this Tivoli is an excellent purchase <laughs> one of my favorites <clears throat> now to go to a complete different direction <laughs> on my channel if you're new here I like Timu bags, I like Walmart bags, I like Louis Vuitton bags, <laughs> I and Coach and Dooney. Like, I do not pigeonhole myself to certain brands um, because I like to explore all of them and I purchase what I like. So, if you like a variety of different 
uh, budgets from you know twenty dollars up to a thousand then you're on the right channel <laughs> and hit the subscribe like <laughs> comment down below S shameless plug and I am on Instagram uh, AKB bags if you want to join me over there I pop up some uh, some of the bag of the day and different things like that okay back to the video <laughs> this is my Walmart favorite <laughs> that I keep going into the checkered print and I want to say this is like 20 or 30 dollars um, or in between there it has the back zipper I've shown this a thousand times so I won't show it but yeah this is definitely a favorite purchase for this year and I've used it. I used it in my vlog that we went to Tulsa. It's perfect for travel. I love it. So definitely I'll try to link this one down below. <clears throat> this one is in a dust bag because of the material. And I haven't pulled it out yet, but I know that once I see it right now, I'm gonna wanna pull it out again. <laughs> And that is my only soft tabby and it has the suede with the dark navy with the smooth leather and then it has a back pocket see how it's suede all the way from front to the back here and here's the bottom of it I like the giant C I got a good deal on this one and this one comes with both a shoulder or a crossbody strap and a shoulder strap a short shoulder strap in the dark navy blue you know has the brass hardware I uh yeah I can't say enough this is a comfortable bag and I know this color isn't as easy to to match up with your clothes but do I honestly change bags every time I change clothes no so sometimes I do not match and that's okay I'm that's just me <laughs> I try to match but I added this little my mom had a bag for sale um, in a vintage or older bag and it had this coach little tiny hang tag here so I added it to it it didn't come with that it came with the blue navy one but yeah this is an awesome soft tabby it's comfortable. Glad I have it. It's one of my favorites. Next up is another coach. <laughs> and I've only worn this one time. So full disclosure, I haven't used it but once. But it is the artist collaboration with Tom Wesselman, Rogue 25. And it's in that pretty camel brown color feet on the bottom it's my only rogue that I've ever owned and I see a lot of people selling these off maybe not this edition but regular rogues uh, so you probably can get a, a rogue 25 which that's what this is I don't want anything bigger <laughs> um, you could get them for more reasonable than they those people are losing money on some rogues that they're selling right now so if you're in the market now's the time <laughs> but it has these awesome rolled handles that you can tuck in it has the double zipper it has the two sides I mean it's a really nice bag and I got a good deal this hardware even is very substantial and it's brass colored and it also comes with a uh, it comes with two straps and then it comes with a crossbody strap so you can make it with the double handles on each side or you can do a crossbody so yeah it's super pretty they had this on the outlet uh, I think they were trying to get rid of them <laughs> I don't know because I didn't want to pay four or five hundred dollars for this rogue um, 25 so yeah I love I, I, you can't see them, but I have the charms over there, and maybe you can see the red ones. I have the red ones and the black pair, because I just, I just, I like it. I don't know. Not every, this is not everyone's flavor, and I get that, but 
definitely a favorite purchase and I paid probably around 200 for it so that's a good deal for this bag and this kind of leather which is I want to say it's the glove tan leather so yeah very nice next is a more recent purchase that I wish that I had more <laughs> of the giant monogram Dooney and Burks uh, in different silhouettes now because this I really like this and this is the color charcoal and it goes with everything it has those nice bumpers there has the feet on the bottom it's a good size turn locks is another favorite uh, characteristic I like on bags but and it has a zipper top let me just get it out, the strap out. This bag is called the Crossbody Bucket. I really got a good deal on it, and it's in the coated canvas and with a darker leather trim, which is so pretty. And it has the two adjustments where you can do it shoulder or crossbody. So yeah, this is called the bucket and it's in the large Dooney and Burke monogram. Definitely one of my favorite purchases. The only thing is these can be a little bit noisy. So just warning you, if you're carrying it crossbody, especially these tend to make some noise. And I just added my coach little star because I thought it went good with it. So my hang tag definitely love this my favorite one of my favorites too I purchased a whole lot more but this is my last one <laughs> and uh, I like my other bags but these would be the top ones that I am so glad I don't have FOMO and what that is is fear of missing out on a bag and I typically don't get that feeling ever because <laughs> I know that how I shop is a lot of times I'll go to the secondhand market on um, Mercari or Poshmark. Eventually those bags end up there. And so it's not like I can never find it. So I typically don't get that. But I did with this one. <laughs> I did terribly with this one because this one of course went on sale on the Coach Outlet site after I bought it <laughs> for the $200 price tag. So yes. I, I did buy this one new and it's the Mint and Surf Morgan and I have no regrets. <laughs> and yes, I did have FOMO on this one because I was afraid. I don't know. I just was afraid I wouldn't get it. So I did get this one. And it has the magnetic closure. And it also has uh, the shoulder strap and also the crossbody strap. But look at that. I just love the graffiti. It's when the bandit came out. I love that one too, but I was not going to pay that kind of money for it. So this, I could have got cheaper because Coach Allett plays their games of back and forth prices. But yeah, this is definitely uh, my, probably among the top, top of my purchases. So that would be all that I have for you today and uh, do you think I did good with my purchases so far and which one did you like the best you know out of my favorite purchases and again don't forget to hit the like subscribe comment down below what which one's your favorite tell me <laughs> and if you have any suggestions on videos of reviews or what fits of any of my collection I would be happy to do it just comment down below and I'll do it I want to thank you for staying with me and joining me on my youtube channel this far and I hope that you subscribe to my channel for future videos and until next time I'll talk to you soon bye